Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <coughs> so today, my group will present about our case study on solving engineering problem using MATLAB. So this is based on course introduction to programming language AMM3126. So firstly, I will introduce my group member. As for me, my name is Muhammad Zakwan. Next, Wan Muhammad Afi. Next, Muhammad Aiman. And our lecturers is I.R. Razali, Razali bin Sami. <coughs> so, next slide. We will go to introduction. So, first, MATLAB or Matrix Laboratory is a multi program, multi paradigm, numerical computing environment, and pro proprietary programming language developed, developed by MATWORKS. <coughs> MATLAB allows matrix manipulation, plotting of function and data, implementation of algorithm, creation of user interface, and interfacing with uh, program written in other language. So MATLAB is a high level language an interactive environment for computer computation, visualization, and programming. <coughs> and a little bit introduction about our engineering problem. Mass spring system is a system of mass connected by a spring. is a classical system with several degrees of freedom since our engineering problems related to mass spring so i introduce a little bit about mass spring system so next we move to the next we move to project background i will pass to mama iman okay uh, thank you zakwan so our project background so we choose the engineering problem that related to the spring as zakwan said earlier so our spring is related to automotive engineering since the problem is about spring that used to design packaging system and as a vehicle suspension. Uh, as you can see here, uh, is the spring that um, show in vehicle suspension as figure one. So our problem is uh, the spring has a force that is uh, proportional to their compression. And the, the NDR proportionality constant is the spring constant K. The two, side spr the two side springs provide additional resistance if the weight W is too heavy for the center of spring. When the weight W is gently placed, it moves through the uh, distance X before coming to rest. From statics, the weight force must balance the spring force at this new position. Thus, the formula is divided as shown below. Uh, the expectation is uh, with these relations, it can be used to plot of x versus w. Then we expect to create a function file that, compute, that computes the distance x using the input parameters w, k1, k2, and d. The function for following two cases the test using the values given below. Then we use the program to plot x versus w graph for zero, uh, w, uh, w in between zero until 3000 Newton for the values of K1, K2, and D that state above. So we moving to the pseudocode, I will pass to the Muhammad, one Muhammad Hafi. Okay, thank you, Aiman. So next slide. So uh, this is the first pseudocode. First, we we use the script to define a function. Uh, the function define function by name s with one output and four input, which is uh, weight, spring constant one, spring constant two, and uh, this conditional distance d. So uh, if weight less than spring constant times the conditional distance, uh, we will find the value of s, which is s equal to weight over weight per spring constant one. S, uh, we will find the value of the new S, which is, we use the new formula, as you can see here, S equal to W plus two times spring constant two times conditional distance per K spring constant one plus two times 
free constant 2. And then uh, in this function phi, it will display the distance travel is and then the value of s. So next, uh, next pseudo code is to check whether the defined function that we create before is correct or not. So uh, as usual, we use the SP command to clear everything in the common window and clear command to clear all in the workshop. And then um, we will recall the function by putting the value state in the project background, which is w equal to 500 newton and spring constant k1 equal to 10 to the power of 4 newton per meter spring constant 2 k2 which is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the power of 4 newton per meter and conditional distance which is d equal to 0 0.1 meter and then we will recall the next we will recall the function with the new value of w which is 2000 newton that's right and this is the last pseudo code which is to plot and wait by using lean space which varies from 0 to 3000 newton and contain 100 row vector and then uh, we will use the looping process to calculate the value of s using the new value of w wait and then uh, we end the looping then uh, again we clear the common window and we display weight and distance then we gonna do the looping process again so that it can show the value of weight and distance this is important so we can show the table in the result and then uh, we end the looping process and we begin the plotting of the 2D graph. And here we will insert the label for S at this, Y at this, and title. Next slide. Here is our control structure. And the first diagram is the is from the pseudo code one, and the second diagram is from pseudo code two. Next slide. And our last three and four diagram is from the pseudo code three. Next slide. Today, uh, and I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue the script file. It is uh, from figure figure two. We can see this function file s. From the pseudo code here, uh, we create a function file s here, and we input all the if if as condition and display the value of s and from figure three is the test value here we recall from the function file s and insert weight equal to 500 and others next slide and this figure four which is to plot a graph so this is our our script file and here we define the value of weight which is to plot for s as this and and here we have a looping process and from the looping process we can display the value of weight and distance and last last but not least uh, we will create the we will plot the 2d graph of w which is s as this and s which is y as this and we we use as S label, Y label, and title to rename all the important level. That's right. And here is the result from our script file. This it will show from the pseudo code one, it will show the distance travel in meter, which is 0 .0 0 0.05 and 0 0.125. That's right. And uh, here is from the pseudo code three. Here is from the pseudo code three. Uh, it pseudo code two. It will display the table from the looping process. Next slide. Uh, 
And last but not least, uh, this is from the serial code three, which we will display the graph of distance travel S versus wait, W. Next slide. And from here, I will pass to Ayman. Okay, thank you, Hafi. Uh, so we move to the discussion part. So uh, for the discussion, uh, our expectation to create a function file that computes the distance x has been determined using this MATLAB. Uh, by using script from the figure two and figure three from script five, the result of distance x for w is equal to 500 and w is equal to 2000 is 0 0.05 meter and 0 0.125 meter respectively as shown in figure five. Then uh, we use the program uh, MATLAB to plot the 2D distance x versus weight w as shown in figure 7. As we can see here, uh, this is the 2D plot graph. The program for the graph shown in figure 4 that I used uh, shown uh, before. The output of the graph shown in figure 6 uh, as Hafiz said earlier. Um, this is uh, the looping for the output that we use to uh, plot the 2D graph. So in short, uh, our expectation about this engineering problem about spring has been solved using this MATLAB program. So as a precaution, uh, we need to cautious about the input uh, when we input the data to get the correct values of output to MATLAB show the certain error. So next we go to the conclusion. I will pass to Zakwan. Thank you, Mama Ayman. So lastly, we will go to the conclusion. Next. In a nutshell, MATLAB software that MATLAB is a software that offers strong possibilities. <coughs> MATLAB is a very powerful programming language with a lot of toolbox for different scientific fields, as we presented before. Uh, it is clearly shown that MATLAB can help us to solve engineering problems. The ability to read in a wide variety of both command and domains specific image formats is very useful. Uh, for example, our 2D plot, it is easier for us to observe any engineering problem that have been solved by uh, us using MATLAB. So I think that's all from us. Thank you.